Hey guys, I'm here to teach you how to play Lands Battle. Let's check it out. You'll see it's a reflection of your upland properties. Every property you have is a card within the game. And they have some attributes which are the mint value, the last price paid for that property, which if it is minted by you, the price is the same as the mint. Its size is up to two, the type of construction it has, and the rarity of its collection. Uh, you can see that most of them are blue, but you can also see some purple ones. Here there are the exclusive orange ones, the rare ones that I have. There are different colors representing the collections you have. And how does the game work? You need to make a deck with 30 cards. Your opponent will also make a deck with 30 cards. This deck will be shuffled by the game and in each round it will reveal the top cards and compare them according to the decision made by the game. The game will speak first. For example, let's now analyze the smallest value of mint. He turns over the top cards and the card with the lowest mint value gets one point. He can also view highest value or range of values. For instance, I'll look up two between 200 and 280. If you have it, you earn the point. The player who scores five points first is declared the game winner. And you can create or join existing matches. And you say, what is the value you want to create that match? Or you can choose if there are open matches with different values, you can choose which one you want. For example, if I create a game with 1000 UPX, the player must bet 1000 UPX, making the total pot 2000 UPX. The winner receives 80% of the value for themselves. In this scenario, 600 UPX is automatically awarded to the player as the game progresses, and you can view your game history sequentially. You have the option to create a game and leave it there, he will play and you will know the outcome even if you haven't watched the match live. But you can join the game, observe all events and utilize this history to reorganize your deck. Later on, you come here and put other cards. You notice that, for example, you always lose when you have very small cards. So you come here and add more small cards. We have a filter to help you sort, such as the smallest mint. Largest mint, you have the option to put it here. The bigger the P2, the smaller the P2. And this will help facilitate the assembly of your deck. The better your deck is, the less you will rely on luck. And speaking about collections, how does the collection system work? You can have three cards per collection type. For example, you can have three exclusives, three rares, three ultra rares. The purple ones, you can have four. And the blue ones, you can have as many as you desire. If in one round, for instance, a unique collection property emerges, and in the next round another unique collection property emerges, you will receive a bonus. Adjust value based on comparison. Chance of winning increases by increasing or decreasing the value. So the more collections you have, the greater the collection diversity, the higher chance of earning bonuses in the match. And the constructions, how do they work? He analyzes the optimal construction based on the number of sparks required to build it, and if you're searching, for example, at the smallest building and you have a card that contains a micro house and the person has a card that does not have any building at all, you will be the winner. Although a micro house, it lacks construction. Having construction is crucial in this game as it highly values your spark. And that's it, guys. Otherwise, it's up to you to learn ins and outs of the game, understand your deck and improve your skills. Sometimes you need to buy a smaller property or a bigger one to add to your deck and try to win the matches. We have a ranking for you to see the best of Upland as a whole and try to be the best in Lens Battle.